Hey all, um, I'd just like to show you a short video of uh, the latest uh, charge case I've built for a customer from Cool Ice Power Supplies. Uh, this case is obviously housing the very powerful iCharger 4010 Duo. It's powered by two 1200 watt server power supplies, giving a total of 2400 watts at 25 volts and uh, capable of obviously 100 amps, so more than enough power to drive this unit safely. Uh, this charge case also features uh, the Cool Ice power supply controller, or PSU controller as they call it. Basically this little gizmo monitors the output voltage of the two power supplies and if one should fail inadvertently during a charge, uh, it switches both power supplies off to save the charger. Um, it turns out the duo range of chargers are a little bit fragile if uh, one of the pair of PSUs shuts down abruptly. So this little unit safeguards your considerable investment in a, in a high power charger. Um, let's turn it on. Obviously I need to put power on the side with the switch. Turn it on. As you see the little red light is flashing. That's the, uh, the PSU controller main circuit board there. The red light would obviously in this instance signify that it's off but uh, it would also flash to signify there's been a fault with one of the power supplies as well and uh, something needs to be looked at. So in order to start the uh, controllers now I then have to press this momentary button here. So let's press it. That starts the PSUs in motion and obviously starts giving an output voltage. Hopefully we can see it, yep. And the little PSU controller is obviously getting a throbbing blue light there to obviously say that it's in run mode and it's monitoring. That little unit allows me to set an upper and lower voltage limit. So obviously if the something went wrong and the PSUs went above a certain voltage, it would shut them both down. Conversely then, if one fails and the voltage drops, it also shuts both down. This case, obviously, is housed in the 4010. And we've got outputs for the two channel chargers on the deck. Top left hand corner, I've also added a 12 volt outlet and a USB charge ports to charge mobile phones, GoPros, etc. You will also see this material here. It's got some bubbles in it because I've only just applied it. It's static clean. Uh, vinyl which is clear so it provides some protection if you're putting your ch if you're putting your batteries sorry on the deck to avoid any major scratches so with the power supply running I've obviously got the usual remote control controlling the internal lights so let's turn them on and there we go the deck is dark tinted so when the lights are off Everything inside looks dark and looks like black acrylic. But then the minute you turn the lights on, you obviously get to see what's inside it. <coughs> in this case, the two HP power supplies. There's the little Cool Ice PSU controller. That's the main board. And then the secondary one is mounted on the second PSU as well. So, as per normal, I can obviously switch colours. Which is nice. Red green, blue, or we can pulse. Ooh. Do another option. We can do flash. And we can speed it up. Hope no one's epileptic. Ooh. And slow them down. Again, all via the remote. And we can put it on auto. So it constantly changes. power supplies are securely mounted to a framework within the charge case as is the uh, the 4010 duo that's held in position securely <coughs> and the deck keeps it down from coming off its locating pegs okay if we want to close it, switch it all off we can switch the lights off deck goes dark and then if we want to switch off the PSUs we can just press the button or switch off the power cord and everything closes. Thank you for watching. I uh, build these charge cases to order so if anyone would uh, like a quote
please get in contact with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.